Melania just woke up to incredible surprise after being hit with disgusting controversy. One would think that at some point the endless empty insults and petty vendettas that the liberals have against President Trump would end. But apparently, there is no end to a number of times a liberal can make an idiot of themselves. The sore losers that make up the Democratic Party are still out for blood though, and they'll even wreck their own business empires to do it. Traditionally, fashion has been something that is accepted as being needful for everyone. Let's face it, we all want to look beautiful, and no matter the political leanings of the designer or the wearer, it hasn't been an issue. And the usual defining element in any business owner's decision-making process is money, but not when it comes to the designers who should be vying for a chance to dress the glamorous first lady. Usually, the wife of the leader of the free world has her pick of designers with people lining up around the block to dress her, and have all the news outlets in the country saying their name. It's not only great for their bottom line, but it's just about the best press a person can get. Because the president had the audacity to come out of nowhere with policies that don't cater to the upper crust, those same designers that supposedly want tolerance and love for everyone have decided to boycott not only one of the most powerful women in America but arguably one of the most beautiful as well. Unfortunately for them, Melania Trump could wear a potato sack and look like a million bucks. Of course. She's not wearing potato sacks since at least a few designers decided to let their competitors' moral qualms about dressing the first lady work to their advantage. AHH, looks like the free market is kicking in again and it smells suspiciously like freedom. Via page 6, Melania Trump is proving to the fashion designers who said they wouldn't help her that dressing well is the best revenge. The first lady's trip to Saudi Arabia, the Vatican, Belgium, and Sicily wearing mostly Dolce and Gabbana was a fashion tour de force that has forced many naysayers in the rag trade to rethink. The list of designers who said they wouldn't dress Melania is long, led by Tom Ford, Marc Jacobs, Zach Posen, Christian Siriano, and Sophie Thielet. But Melania has managed to look smashing in dozens of different ensembles from her white Ralph Lauren jumpsuit on election night to the DNG 3D floral coat she wore in Sicily on Friday. Defending the former model against critics who harped on the garment's $51,500 cost, the Washington Post's Robin Given opined, Frankly, the floral coat is beautiful. There is a softening, a melting, stylist Philip Block told me. Fashion people are fickle and fake. They are starting to see she is a beautiful woman who is married to the president and it is an honor to dress her. Deliveries to Trump Tower have picked up. Most days, the lobby is brimming with wardrobe boxes delivered for Melania, a source told me. Once she tries on the outfits and decides what she will keep, the boxes come back downstairs. Not since Jacqueline Kennedy has there been a first lady who needs less help. She doesn't need couture. She can buy off the rack, and it looks beautiful, Block said. She knows her size, and she knows what works on her. She luxuriates in minimal. And now the worm has turned. All the idiots who thought that a first lady couldn't get along without them obviously weren't anticipating what it would be like to have a former model using actual runways as her runway and working it while she works for a better America. They say that the opposite of love isn't hate, it's apathy, and that's exactly what the first lady gave all the stuck up, liberal, too good to talk to a Republican, designers. She got on just fine without them, and now they're seeing money flying out the door. I guess that's what you get when you decide to sit in the corner and pout that your pantsuit wearing liberal media whore lost a race that you showed absolutely no interest in until somebody with some decent values entered. You've probably also heard that revenge is a dish best served cold, which is something that Melania Trump won't be, in her fabulous floral coat and matching clutch, courtesy of Dulce and Gabbana. Source, page 6. Share if you think that Melania is the classiest first lady in recent history. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.